I'm gonna restart the local recording again and everything as well. Sorry for those of you that got kind of uh, kicked out, but you have gotten to see the bugs as I have seen them, and maybe that's incentive enough for me to try and actually get some uh, other things or like some other health items here. I don't actually have a lot of plant fiber right now. I thought I had more. Maybe I did have more and I just dropped it. All right, so. Yeah, that's actually, I'll be honest with you, that's actually the first outright crash I've had while playing Starbound. So that's not terrible. And I just want to make sure y'all let me know if there's like anything that's not showing. We're going to give this boss another shot here. It looks like whatever dead spot or anything with the lasers going around, uh, we're just going to have to have really good health. And if this doesn't work here, I am just probably going to have to go for uh, titanium armor, which means digging deep into planets and seeing what we can get here. But we're going to give it one more shot. And I mean, if there's bugs, there's bugs. It's a beta. Important thing is that every time I go through here, I'm getting better at it. And I am just going with the steel armor, which is the minimum requirement. And who really wants the minimum pieces of flare? And yeah, all that kind of thing. Now I have a lantern on my back, which does give me a little bit of light here. But the important thing is that I uh, switch on mutant zombie things ready to... Oh, actually one shot hit two of them. So that's pretty pleasant. I don't even need to take the stakes this time. Yeah, I, I kind of wish I did have the uh, the double dash tech instead of the uh, up jump tech, but we'll uh, make do. So, oh, really? That's how you dodge? All right. So more stakes because we're eating people. All right. So moderate risk planets, which you need the FTL to get. Oh, really? I don't know what I was thinking then about being able to get them early. All right, so... There we go. I guess I'm just going to have to suck it up and do it the right way, which is uh, just not get myself killed. Okay, why am I why am I not hitting Z? That's what I want to know. Z to switch. Why am I not hitting that? I should probably redo the hotkeys for some of these things just to make it a little bit easier for my sanity. Because these guys are still a threat, but they're not a... Uh, super terrible threat but I mean it's so easy to pick them off from ranged and I could probably just run past some of these guys especially if they jump up over me like that oops yep really okay that's one way to do it yeah, if Angry Koala you can get it by digging deeper. Yeah, and that's the thing is that I haven't really played a lot since Angry Koala. Because I was one of those, I didn't really touch the Nightlies because I wanted this all to be kind of new for me. And I don't mind the uh, challenge at all. I mean, that's fine. Even the uh, lack of continue death is okay. It's just if the lasers are actually not where they're supposed to be and they're killing me, that's something I'm just going to have to deal with. Probably by having higher health in the last phase. So we'll, we'll keep our health bar as much as we can. If that means we have to have a uh, really slow boss fight, then that's what we do. And I'm shooting into the wall now, so that's not great. All right, one. Bro, that's such a disappointing sound for my gun. You're dead. Okay. And we're back online, and someone's going to be here to shoot in a second. There we go. I'm glad my gun's stronger than that. Something else is going to jump, pop up down here. There we go. Yeah, the one thing that I'm, I still have trouble with sometimes with this gun is that it shoots at a parabolic arc. So it's not always firing how I want it to or where exactly I think it's going to. So they're going to run away from me because they're on fire. Ooh. Having a third tech card would be pretty nice as well. So Okay, try the other blind spot on phase one. Uh, let's hear Yeah, I'll have to see. Just remind me when we get there what the other blind spot is, because if that can work, that can work well. It looks like for whatever reason they switched the encounter so that you, get, you can't just cheese standing underneath it, which makes sense. I mean, the dead spots for that phase three are supposed to be on the top and on the bottom, and you're supposed to have to take a few hits. So, yeah. Another thing about Starbound with mods is that I actually need to 
look into mods a little bit more. I haven't done too much in the way of modding. And that's not because I'm against mods or anything or too cool for school or anything. It's just... I kind of wanted to hold off until there was a more stable version. Haha! -ha. We were all so young then. Alright. My poor gun. I'll just let these guys do the shooting for me because... Murica. Alright. Okay, so yeah, their bash attack doesn't really do a lot of damage. Oh, uh, nope, not what I wanted. Whoa, hello! So I can't actually eat food again as long as that little meter is up there. So that'll make my healing strategy a little tougher. One, two. Would love a higher rate of fire on this gun, but what can you do? Just gotta wait it out. Star, star, oh wow, Star Foundry isn't around anymore? That sucks. Because that was, that was exactly where I'd be looking for mods. All right. Okay, so that's a relief. So someone else saying is that he's working on an update. That's not a surprise. I mean, Starbound kind of taking a uh, year of not having a lot of stable stuff go on. I mean, I had a few people ask me on my YouTube as well, what the hell happened to your Let's Play series of Starbound? And it was one of my more popular ones and everything. It's just like, uh, there wasn't a lot of update. There wasn't really a lot to play or do. It was just kind of, I fought the bosses. Pretty much every, all the encounters were not very interesting because you could just block them up in a box and kill them. Or even if you tried to make a good arena, it would, uh, the arena wouldn't really work. The dragon boss in particular was the worst culprit for me for that because it was like, you're, I wanted to fight him in the air and he wouldn't fly up above a certain point. Ugh. So let's see, one. That shot didn't look like a hit, but it did, so I'll take it. All right. So we're going to go up here, let our gun recharge, and hello. That's got to be great. It's like, I'm going to chase after you behind the door, and I'm going to shoot you at the door. I'm glad, by the way, these bullets don't hurt me. That's really convenient. So if I just stand over here, they won't notice me, and they'll all shoot them up. So that's good. So secret, secret up there. Nice that they give you a flashlight. And we're already almost at the bottom again, so... Hello, friend. Rawr, Ack. This feels like something they'll fix too, maybe eventually. I don't know. I mean, you could, if you don't have the double tech jump, I don't know if you can make that jump. Yeah. Now, one of the things that I was looking about modding once upon a time was the improved ores mod, just because the ore distribution used to be so out of whack in this game. And I don't know if the updates really fixed that. That's one thing I'm really curious about. Once I get past Ekaris, what do the other planets look like? What's the ore distribution like? So I don't need to heal yet. I'll heal at the last bed, so. Because right now we just got probably one more guy that we have to kill. I just don't want to accidentally trick the AI into uh, coming after me. Come on. Come on. Play with me. That's right. We're on up there. Now those guys have really nice high defense. Well, really, really nice high defense. And yeah, I guess this would be a boss that would work pretty well if I did invite people to a party. I actually have not really done anything with multiplayer in Starbound yet. But I guess one of my questions is, for those of you uh, that do play multiplayer, is that if one person dies, is that kind of just like, okay, everyone has to start over, or you wouldn't get credit for the quest, or do you know? And I do actually post on... Uh, Reddit Starbound sometimes, not a lot. I used to post more closer to release. And that's something where I have a few thoughts that I do want to post on there, but a lot of times when there's posts up there, there's people that have already kind of said what I'm thinking. Like one of my big takes on Starbound is that I'm, I really love the overworld environment for Starbound. It's, the planets are diverse. It's interesting to go around the world and everything. But the underground and getting to the underground is still kind of blah. If you find a chest, it isn't very interesting. If you find uh, another hidden area, uh-oh, find another hidden area, there's not really a lot to it. Uh, and just there's, it's. I always compare it to Terraria where like you can find some caverns and actually really go deep into the world just through the cavern system. And I know not all planets should have huge interspersed cavern system and everything, but I mean, it's just, it's the one thing that I'd really like to see is just more interesting subterrain. But we're going to go back into here again. 
And one more time for those of you playing at home. Uh, someone was saying there could be another dead spot. Is it around here or is it around to the right where the exit is? Try under the platform where the two lower switches are. Then hug the wall and crouch. And remind me real quick, how do I crouch in Starbound? Is it X? It's not X. It's never X. There. Oh, down? Down crouches? Are you serious? Okay. Uh, how do I not know these things? I've been doing this the whole game. All right, well, if I die here, whatever. Okay, so we're going to have laser beams. Taking a little bit of damage. So we're talking about hugging the wall down there. I don't even know if that's really a legit dead spot. Okay, so, but we'll find out in a second. So you're going to poop out a guy or a girl. Let's not discriminate by gender here. So we're talking about like down here. And what do we got? Try under the platform where the two lower switches are and crouch. Oh. So the laser stopped down here. Let's go ahead and eat another steak. Might as well heal that way while we wait. Yeah, no, it's okay if it doesn't work. I mean, the bigger thing is just I'm going to need to make sure that I have enough health to tank some of the hits. So this is a good way to recover between phases. Okay, so as long as we're down here. And there's the eye, by the way. For those of you who haven't actually seen the boss, it's pretty cool. It's pretty creepy. There's people in there. I don't know what FTL was thinking. Okay, does that work? No, but we got a, we got a spawn. So that's a plus. That's not a dead spot. And that just stops it. So we're down here. All right. Doesn't really do a lot for me up, down, or around. Okay, so we'll go this way. Yeah, suddenly I do want the uh, dash tech. Although double jump's pretty good for here. Whoop! So those beams are where they're supposed to be. And you're going to come up with something again. Oh, damn. Okay, well. Run! And that's why we don't want to misfire. Didn't even get that switch. All right, one and... No, we're not going to get greedy here. Ugh. Trying to heal. We're just going to go for the switch up here this time and then get back down. Ooh, that was close. There's going to be one person down there waiting for me. At least they're supposed to be. All right. Okay, so there's one beam. There, oh, really? Come to Papa. Did I do it? Did I do it? Yes! Aw, oh, damn it. That thing captured me. It must be if you didn't destroy it. It must be a mutant by now if you didn't destroy it. All right, well, damn, son. All right, so even with bugs, and everything there's a chest up ahead to get it looks like ooh, just got to go for it I guess all right well that was that was intense nice to see it. at least got uh, well I don't know I really appreciate you all uh, helping me out with that because that was uh, quite interesting so the Ecarus horror which looks like it's gonna be something for the codex as well thousand pixels and a thrash maker which is a 82 DPS which is a little lower than that, so whew. energy per shot 50. That's an interesting gun, but not really as good as I have. But the more important thing, I guess I can teleport out of here now, that's fine, but 
to complete the quest, we got this thing here, which magically is mining things. So I finally got the crystals. I need to fix the FTL drive. I should talk to Sale. So I got 20 Ecarus crystals, which I don't know if you've seen anything that I've done before with this uh, uh, upbeat giraffe update, but I bought 20 of the fuel at the gas station at the uh, outpost. So that's not great. But look at this. I'm on my space train. I love how the FTL spools even when I go around here and everything. But if we talk to sail, okay, so we can actually repeat the mission, which is great. But repair ships FTL, we can get a hold of 20 Echius crystals. Am I calling this Echius the whole time? E-R-C-H-I-U-S. E-R-C-H. IUS. You all are very polite for not calling me out for my spelling. Because I, I tell you what, I, uh, yeah, you need some fuel to get anywhere anyway. Yeah, that's fine. But I mean, I've been laughed at so many times throughout uh, streaming or in general just because I mispronounce things all the way because I don't see letters all the time. And it's not because I really have anything wrong. I just get careless with my rings. So Erceus, not Echorus or anything. So let's repair the FTL. Eurekus? Oh, look at that bunny go! It's working. I can finally visit other star systems and we get 500 pixels. So the fuel and FTL drive, you need liquid. Uh, how are you saying? Eurekus? That can work. This pink liquid can be found in pools underground on moon planets. You should pick up at least 20 units of liquid Eurekus to fuel my ship. It should be able to travel to nearby systems. Or Eurekus, that works. So we can enable the paint tool as well. And uh, how do we do that? Yay! We got that. So painting is fun. We'll play with that a little bit later on. Or we can play with that now. So quick select with Y. And do we paint anything here? Nee, 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 nee. Well, we'll play with that a little bit later because I'm sure there's uh, some fires paint. Secondary changes the color. So if we change to blue, red, green. Oh, good. Cool. All right. So... Well, thank you all so much for the help with everything. I'm glad. I hope you got what you wanted there. In other words, it's the boss is kind of buggy, but good luck tackling it. So, and we can upgrade the matter manipulator. Ten gold, ten titanium. So we're not there yet. So I can repeat the uh, Chris and uh, yeah. I think the stream name is fine. Well, thank you very much for the follow as well. I do appreciate it. But let me see. I should have my. Uh, Fuel inventory, there you are. I bought 40 because I'm a fool, but I completed the quest right away. So load it into the ship at the fuel gauge. Fuel gauge, something I'm very familiar with because I used to just throw trees in here and it would make fuel just fine. So bloop, 39 fuel. Let's fuel it up. Wow, it doesn't really take me a lot of places, but we'll have to just get into the ship's captain chair and processing. Finally, we're at the gate. We can go back to the outpost if we want to, but we can actually go outside of the system a little bit. And here we are. So, oh, what do you know? A radioactive star is right next to us. I'm pretty sure it's not what we want. Frozen star is definitely not what we want. Fiery star is not what we want. We're near a gentle star, which is the lower level. And uh, let's see here. I'm not really sure what the next one is. Maybe eccentric, radioactive. I'm sure there's a gauge there somewhere if someone in the peanut gallery wants to help me out for uh, what's bad. You can use coal and trees as everything, but the liquid is best. Okay, so it's still like that. All right, so now I'm forgetting what my, because I looked it up before, what star systems, which one comes after gentle. But I guess the best thing to do is uh, eccentric. Okay, that's fine. Because uh, I was going to guess either radioactive or eccentric. Uh, which one's good? Why not beta 51 peg minoris or epsilon delta and majoris? So the order for those of you watching at home as uh, one of the viewers is helping me out here, by the way, eccentric, radioactive, frozen, fiery. So here is a planet. Oh, there's another gate here. I assume that is a gate back to the same outpost, which is pretty convenient. So we'll play with that eventually. But we're not going to fly there. And we have a uh, no breathable atmosphere. This is a moon, but it's floating out by itself. We have an asteroid field that is harmless which I guess that's a pretty good place to craft things. Uh, moderate. I assume we're going for moderate threat areas next. This planet's surface is covered in ocean, and I've not actually seen an ocean planet yet. Those were not available before. This planet's surface is covered in ocean as well. Okay, so they're all connected to the same outpost. Well, that's exciting and good to know. So snow planets, these are all moderate, mostly harmless desert. And uh, moons are where you can get fuel, so that's good to have here. 
A barren and lifeless world suitable for large scale construction, which is new here, if I could actually pronounce my words. And a moderate snow plant. Ooh, a risky plant as well. Covered in alien plant life, not breathable atmosphere, high levels of radiation. So pretty good. And uh, oh, this looks like a, a good place to start. Arid, ocean, ocean planet, and snow planet. So let's actually go to one of the planets that I actually saw. Not the ocean planet, as cool as that would be. Uh, or if you all have any suggestions for where you would like for me to go, for me, those planets that I just surveyed. If you want to see an ocean planet, I'm happy to go. I'm just not sure if I have the gear that I need. But I'm going to be going to a moderate difficulty planet. That takes 250 fuel to get to. Eww, we may have to go gas up first. All right. Um, maybe we have to go a little bit closer. I don't know. But... So moon is where you can get fuel. Air will probably be good for you at the moment. Yeah, that works pretty well. But it looks like the first thing we're going to need to do is just even to get some fuel out here. Unless this eccentric star... I mean, I assume all of these are going to be maybe a little bit closer. So yeah, there's your gate here. So a risky planet, moderate, covered in snow. Only 140 to go here. You know, I'm going to go to the outpost first. If you have coal, give it a shot. I mean, I do have some coal. I'm not sure how much I made into uh, other things. Let's go down to the outpost real quick. That'll do. Wee! I don't think I have any other new quest right now. So outpost. I have enough pixels. Let's buy some fuel because I'm going to be able to build a processor that'll let me uh, kill a lot of uh, trees and stuff or gear that I get to turn into pixels soon enough. So suddenly your fuel is a really good value. So we have... How much fuel do I want to buy? Yes, going to a moon is straight up easier than buying it from a store. Oh, guys. Okay, well. That's going to be 1,500 pixels. I have 3,000 pixels. I don't know if in the context of things that's a lot. So there is a moon on the system as well. I'm really excited to go to the moderate planets, but I think it probably is best if I go to a moon first just to... Uh, get out there so you need 140 to get to another planet uh, let's go back to the gate I can be patient the big thing is that I did beat the uh, mining facility and I do appreciate once again I really appreciate you all's help there but there is a moon in this system somewhere there's always a moon all right so moderate no we need to go back to uh, where we are back to home and I don't know if everyone starts off in the same system like this or if it's just my uh, galaxy or universe file. So I'll have to see forest, desert. I swear I saw one moon in here before. Moon, great source of fuel. Let's go. And I love how my FTL drive... Uh, yeah, I love how my FTL drive was spooling up before even when it wasn't fixed. But we're going to the moon. I do have the uh, breathable thingy here. And I could probably use to get some other resources as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, equip this. So we have some new codex things to talk about here. We can have some story time. Echius records number one. Read the selected. I have been in this moon for three days now. The miners don't trust me, and rightly so. I'm on a USCM payroll here to supervise at this facility and everything about it. Above regulation, I have enforced the compulsory wearing of these high-vis jackets, something which hasn't won me any favors. The moon is a key special junction, easily accessible from every sector of the galaxy. It's no surprise the facility was built this soon after the discovery of the moon. With a crew of less than 50, this place feels smaller than other similar operations, and I've been deployed to similar moons before, but I can't shake the empty feeling I get when I look out the window. Never to see the blue sky of a habitable planet. It adds the overwhelming feeling that I have a deep down that the man was not meant to live out here in the dark. So back to the library. Number two, read the selected here. The crew here mined for materials. Some crystals ore are used to create warp drives. To be honest, I'm not concerned with the technical details. Science isn't my department. I'm more concerned with the well-being of the crew. They took me on a complimentary tour of the mines today. I was glad to see everyone wearing their regulation. Safety helmets hopefully will have no accidents. The amount of paperwork involved would be stressful. There were some strange noises coming from the mines when I visited. The crew assured me that it was probably just machinery. The growing crystals made me feel quite sick. I'm surprised the crew haven't complained about it themselves because they're going crazy. All right, so. And no, I'm not playing on right, online right now, so. It is just me and my own world file. There's something terribly wrong with this moon. The crew are disappearing. They aren't telling me anything, but I can just tell that there's going to be so much paperwork to do. 
Everything has gone wrong. I've sent out the distress signal. Hopefully someone will come with backup. I'm sure there's some miners still stranded in the mines. There's nothing I can do for them now. I'm going to lock down the facility, close the entrance to the mine, and hopefully turn off the power. Hopefully these things haven't made their way to the main building. Wish me luck. All right. So and then the uh, Arikis, as we're going to say here, horror, which is up here. Read the selected. We are calling it the Arikis horror in spite of the true name for it. In spite of a true name for it, when the facility is locked down, we are trapped down here with it. And believe me, horror is a perfect description of this creature. We find a deep vein of the Arikis crystal, and upon uncovering the thing, it awoke. At first, we thought it was a sentient crystal, but a desperate attack with a mining laser cannon uncovered a single unblinking eye within. It fired several streams of shooting plaza at us, destroying most of our equipment, and then amazingly hitting us with invisible lasers. Those who got too close were drawn inside it, transformed into a mutant servants of the monster. We fled and the mutants followed. The laser cannon was left intact, however, perhaps a brave soul that I could go back and use to destroy the creature. They would have to be agile enough to dodge its beams and strong enough to beat its corrupted lackeys. The disturbing thought occurs this thing could be a parasite, but who's to say such creatures like this aren't instead the source of the crystals? We may never know for sure, but I hope that everyone's sake that this plague doesn't leave the doomed moon. All right, so for those of you that don't know kind of the background story for this game, just a little bit, as we are going to go down to the surface here. Beam to the planets! And it's nighttime on the moon, because it's always nighttime on the moon. So we can actually, we are back to being able to mine things. Yep, so moon dust. And all we're looking for is fuel. And I imagine I'm probably going to have to dig down here, but I like going on the surface just a little bit. Just to see, and I'm not sure exactly how dark this is all looking for you guys. Because usually fuel is not going to be on the surface. So I'm just looking for one good place to maybe start. I do like the uh, background scrolling here. Eh. At least the moon's pretty easy to dig into, perhaps. Moon rock. So we'll just drop it down a little bit. Fuel is deep underground. Oh, so not just underground, but actually way underground. Now, whoop. Oh. Now the thing that gets me a little bit is that once upon a time when I was playing this there was lots of life on the moon and moons were pretty interesting because they had some very difficult encounters. This is going to be a lonely, lonely trip if it's just me digging like this. Okay, so huge pools of violet water is what I'm looking for. We're just going to dig straight down here and there's a something that will grab cobblestone. All right. Well, I guess it makes sense because these moons are made the same as every everything else. We're just going to keep digging through the moon dust because that's a little bit faster. Moon dust, moon stone, and there we go. Fuel. And the one nice thing for those of you that don't know is that you can collect with the uh, with the little stream thing here now. Unfortunately, if you right click on it, you will actually drain it into the background. Now, I don't know if falling in that's poisonous, so we're going to find out now. No, thank goodness. So there's a lot of fuel. That's good. So someone was asking about finding plutonium. Plutonium might be on fiery planets. Someone else was answering. I wasn't very sure. So that's 113 fuel. And we're going to get just a little bit more. So let's keep digging. Maybe. All right. So the nice thing is that it glows. So that helps. And we got a little bit more fuel here. Whoop. Okay, so I love ominous gigantic caverns. I love them. All right, so this is probably my death. Nope. Actually didn't die. All right. Well, I did land on a spike that poisoned, that hit me twice. So that's a bonus. All right, so more fuel here. And do do do. So these things are just hurting me now. All right. So even when I walk beside them, they are harmful. So yeah, getting getting fuel is actually not too much of a problem. So we are gonna. It looks like we will be able to hit a moderate planet after all. And we know where these moons are. We'll be able to go to some more. So I've got a lot of fuel. We're just gonna drain this lake as well because why not? Once again, as someone said, America, let's take all the resources and just. Uh, hold on to them. It's funny how I'm not drowning in the fuel. Don't know what that's all about, but that's a lot of fuel. That should be enough. Now I'm going to cheese my way out of here as things usually go and we'll just save and quit and go back to the ship. Yay! Look, it's a lava planet. Sometimes you get spoilers for types of planets like a tentacle planet and stuff, but there we go. Fuel gauge. 
How much liquid fuel do I have? I have 326. That'll get us somewhere. All right. Do appreciate the help once again. It's better than me just derping around going, where do I come from? Where do I go? So we're going to go to the eccentric star. So what do you all think? Snow planet? And what else? We got a few snow planets. This is, I think this is, yeah. There's a few eccentric stars that I can go to. You all want to see a snow planet, ocean planet, what? Anything going once, going twice. There's a lot of snow options on this system. There's a gate everywhere at least. There's risky tropical planet as well. So that's pretty good. So it looks like there's a lot of snow options. Go arid or ocean. So, po oh, poisonous ocean, that's cute. Ocean, snow. Oh, good morning. Thank you uh, for joining here. Uh, Harlequin casts. So it looks like if we're going for possible arid here, and I do like arid plants just because they're a lot easier to dig in. I think we'll go to the uh, other eccentric star. It takes a little bit more fuel, but there's a. I think there's a lot more to do here. So where do you come from? Where do you go? Thank you. Now I'm just going to be thinking of uh, fist pumping from other people talking about that. So mostly harmless. I don't want to go to a mostly harmless planet, though. I want to go to a moderate one. So harmless, risky as well. I think this system's more interesting. So we'll uh, moderate ocean, moderate air. There we go. Looks pretty good to me. You don't have to click the menus to zoom out. You can either use the scroll wheel or right click to zoom out. That's I appreciate that because I'd actually tried to right click previously and it just didn't work out very well. But kiddos, we are actually leaving the home world. Did not think it would happen. It was in spite of a few other bugs. I'm going to sleep in a tent that I took on here from somebody else that just abandoned it. And yeah. Let's fly, fly, fly. On our way. As we're going all the way over to the uh, new, I guess, new arid planet. I don't have a lot of bandages left. I do have plenty of steak. I have a horribly organized ship, so I'm going to need to work on that. So I appreciate you all who are watching, who've joined me. I do. It's fun to go around here right now. We don't have a lot of missions. I bet if I go back to the outpost, I may be able to get a few new missions. And that could be a good idea. But I think number one priority is uh, to actually use this thing to make a uh, rogue's chest, which is titanium equipment. Probably the probably a lot of things will just get a lot better once I get titanium gear. Or that's what they tell me back in school. All right, so what do we got? Just have to, I keep getting a call here with a message maybe, but... I don't exactly know what that's about. Let me just check one thing real quick. Since we're taking our dear sweet time flying. All right, so. And there we go. So nothing to worry about with that just yet. Looks like things are still going pretty well, and we're good. Yeah, your ship's cockpit is bigger than my whole ship. That is a good, that's what she said, your mom, yada, yada, yada. As you can see here, I am just flying. And it's interesting to me that this is actually taking longer than just the simple little jumps. So there's Space Train, FTL. It's nice to see it not actually going. That's actually a little sail up there. I remember one of the complaints a lot of people had is why isn't the cockpit for the train up here, why is it down here? And all I can think of, it's a train in space. Quit your crying. There's no tears in space train. Yeah, we're just going. Can I use the telepad to get out? Nope. Could set a new home world. We still have 119 fuel, so we will need to fuel up at a moon somewhere else. And maybe they'll make getting fuel a little more interesting. I do have a few ores. Not a lot. A little bit of platinum and a little bit of gold, but that doesn't do me a lot of good. So we're just flying, casually going through space. I don't need the Echius records again, so we're going to delete them. I don't need the spacesuit backpack again or any of that. 
And I can always rerun that mission if I'm really desperate. I did get a bandit's head. It just doesn't look very good. But I may save that for another character. I have a few chests. I don't need a lantern. Tomatoes are fun, I guess. Raw ribs. Yeah, SFTL jump is taking a tiny bit too long. Almost as if there is a timeout. That's fun. In fact, it just looks like it's uh It's like I want to go to another planet and instead I'm just lost in space forever. Oh, this would stink. So did I just get a bug by jumping away from this pretty well? Alright, so let's... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save and quit and we're going to go back to it and see if we end up where we're supposed to go or if I got to get some more fuel. Or if I'm going to be stuck in FTL Hellfire. No, it looks like we actually made it where we're supposed to go. So there's a display error, let's hope. Yay, um, no. I ended up back at home and I now have less fuel than I'm supposed to. Space train broke. That's true. Okay, you know what? F this. Oh look, right clicking works now. I'm just gonna this is how this is how they get me. See? I'm impatient. I'm just gonna buy some fuel at the damn gas station. And we're not gonna leave this little window this time. For the whole trip, we're just gonna stare at this little thing going. Because that should not have broken like that. And that's right, I'm gonna spend my hard-earned pixels on some gas that I already earned. And about the time it's gonna take me to go to the outpost, just digging into a moon. So what can you do? And we'll try this again. Like I said, I'm just jump complete. Still thinking about switching text to the uh, dash, but we'll go to the outpost first. I guess this is a good excuse to see if there's any other quest while we're there. 20 for 500 is such a waste. You're absolutely right it's such a waste, but you know what? So far, I haven't seen too much to spend pixels on, and I'm just going to bank on my ability to farm them later in some way, shape, or form. Should have gone to the ocean planet instead, I bet you're right, so let's see here. So let's see, we'll get five for a lot. There we go, cool. Let's cry together at my depreciating wealth. By the way, for those of you who don't know, you can play a 3D Mazebound game right here. This gives me horrible motion sickness. Just so you know, if you want to see me puke, I can play this for a few minutes. But it's a little Easter egg. Should have gone to the ocean planet instead, yeah. All right, so any other quest right now? Not really. Maybe, oh look, there is one, possibly, from a little penguin dude. Hey buddy, I heard that you did in the Arikis facility and I have a situation might be with your notorious pirate. Dreadwing owes me money. If you get some titanium armor, I'll give you the coordinates, it'll be worth your while. So good. And can we talk to you yet? What are you buying? And what are you selling? Nothing. Okay. I, I like the little Resident Evil 4 guy there. So someone's asking me to puke, puke, puke. Ask me to play any first person shooter, even from the days of like old school Wolfen style 3D or Doom. Uh, yeah, it was. I learned at a young age that I have terrible vertigo with first person views and some third person games as well. The game that uh, actually has the record for making me the sickest, the fastest, is uh, Super Mario 64. If I watch that for like a minute or two, it gets me. For some reason, I just heard a phone beep. That was not my phone. All right, so at least it shouldn't have been my phone. So we're at 218 fuel. And we're going to try going to outer space again. We're going to try going here again. We're going to try going to the uh, arid place again. As right clicking now works. So moderate, arid, and it's a small area, so I should be able to get deep pretty quickly. Are you serious? I don't have enough fuel to get there. All right, screw this. We're not going to go arid. We're going to go to the, uh, there's an ocean planet here somewhere. There's always an ocean planet. Okay, so surface is covered in ocean, 140. Let's go. I never learned to count my fuel, so I didn't remember how far I had to go. So I've never actually been to an ocean planet. It's one of those things that people are really excited about. Ooh, it's a world with water. It's like, like the Earth. So we'll see kind of how this exploration goes or if I'm just going to have to go straight down. But regardless, moderate difficulty, always exciting. We're going to watch the jump happen and we're going to wait until it's done. That was just me getting trolled by the game pretty hard before. 
I think so. Broken space train hype. Yeah, get your uh, get your checkbooks ready. We're gonna be buying some more gas at the gas station. I think in just a minute here, and we're going, and we're going, and we're going, and it's not stopping. Come on, ride that train. Come on, let's get copyright flagged. Okay, jump complete. Is it safe? Are we about to see a whole new world? And I love it. It's like, hey, look, we're getting in a parking orbit. If this were Kerbal Space Program, that would be the exact time to EVA and leave the cockpit. And I'm glad that uh, Starbound has kept that as well. So planet time. Now, when I was thinking ocean world, I was thinking fully covered in ocean. But right now, OK, a few things here. I am actually going to need some uh, unrefined wood. So I'm going to go ahead and chop some trees. And this could be the first place where I try and make a little base for my own. I've never been much of a crafter in these games because I'm not actually, I mean, I don't want to diss myself too much. I'm just not the most creative person when it comes to actually like designing stuff. So we can make coconut ice cream and look, did we seriously land on like an island? It'd be hilarious if we did. So nothing there this way. Are you... Why does everybody want to kill me? It's always like, look, the first alien that I find always like tries to eat me. And it's I don't want to say what it's shooting at me, but it really looks like zygotes. Not even zygotes. One step below that. Okay, so you're harm... The happy, angry tooth thing is uh, trying to kill me. And what I don't like a lot about guns... Here's the other thing that I don't like. Okay, so we got water balloon, whatever. The other thing I don't like about guns compared to uh, melee weapons is that they break when you shoot a plant. Okay, so you're sperming me to death. That's awesome. And I just pissed off the friendly alien. All right, well, that's good enough. Daytime, at least. Okay, so we are going to go shoot you. Okay, for some reason, that collision detection worked in my favor. Okay, I don't understand why you're not dead. But you're dead now. So now we're getting rain. And that's an interesting background as well. So we're at the daytime, and it looks like we are on just a little island here. And I could swim across the ocean. I think those things are actually trying to kill me. But it doesn't look like we have breathing issues. It just looks like we have a tiny island. Good thing I didn't try and dig down. That would have ended in a lot of disappointment. All right, so if we go down, down, down in the water, I'm sure there's a way to build a boat. Unfortunately, I cannot actually. Uh... OK, so hey, was I know how everyone feels about water levels, right? Right. All right. So what are you? Bottled water. So we're just down here underneath the ocean. I bet I could dig a little further and maybe make an air pocket or something some way, shape or form just to go deeper into the ocean but at least I can breathe in the air now so if I go deep enough maybe I'll be able to find something but I can go all the way back to the surface as well because at least I'm not running out of air down here because I do have that's all oh, duh of course that's why I wasn't dying when I was in the fuel as well because I have the uh, breathable tech or whatever so let's dig down here now let's do this the uh, good old-fashioned way of uh, I guess what I could do is dig all the way to the core where can you get plutonium quickly I don't know unfortunately all right so if we do like this drop a torch here and then because we're not gonna die and we'll just drain the, we'll just drain the ocean a little bit and ta-da we're underground will we ever return here again I don't know but so we're just looking for some interesting stuff under the under the world and we have some water as well so that's pretty cute all right so we're just going to go down 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 and get into another biome here a little bit more coal to get so someone's saying to get uh, plutonium quickly, moons and asteroid fields on frozen stars, which there is actually an asteroid field here. And once again, I do, I'm curious about going to it because I wonder if it's lifeless or full of life. And old Starbound, the uh, 
asteroid fields were some of the more terrifying places because if you didn't have the proper equipment, you would just die. But there's the, it was kind of a high risk reward thing because you had to go there to get if you went there and you're able to survive long enough, you know, like campfire spam your way around the area, you could actually like skip tiers of gear. Of course, that's not how the game works now. So now it's just like a desert planet. So we saw the ocean and that was fun and now it's just digging, 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 digging. All right. So not entirely much to say other than just look, diamonds. We got a few other things here as well. Diamonds and gold. And do, 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 do. I'm really curious about what that little rock is up there. If that's titanium, if I remember right, it was titanium. Oh, there we go, titanium ore. There was an issue where titanium or silver looked practically the same, so you'd had no idea what it is. We can also craft a robotic crafting table, so that'll be interesting to see what exactly we can do with that. So first titanium found. Our goal is to get some gear, and then we'll work from there. All right, so there is a little bit of coal over there too. And we're getting a little bit of slowdown, so I hope that's nothing serious. And is that titanium? I'm pretty sure that's silver. It's always like the big guessing game. What is that material, silver ore? All right, so. So someone else saying I'm in a moon 30 minutes and only 14 plutonium. Yeah, RNG kind of sucks like that sometimes, I think, where you want to be able to get something and then it's never there. I still remember when I was looking for oil. Oh, hello, cutie. You're going to try and kill me. And I just ran into a spike. If you're not going to jump at me, I'm just going to shoot you in the head. Execution style. And that is uh, more silver up there, I believe, except for let's get rid of that because I'm going to hit that every time. And oh, actually, we have a little bit of brick over here, so that could be interesting. I'm just not sure if that's silver or not. So it is a little bit of silver, a little bit of titanium. Let's go over here real quick, because I think we're pretty close to some valuable resources. That's copper. Looks like gold interspersed with titanium over here. And then I'm always such a tease with this kind of stuff, because we're like, oh my god, there's brick stuff back over there. Go explore it. Go look. And it's like, I want the ore first. But I mean, I, I guess I got to be a little careful because if things are about to kill me, then I will just uh, run in. If I run into stuff, I will drop like a third of my war. I'm playing on normal difficulty, not casual mode, not hardcore mode. If I was playing on hardcore mode, it'd just be, it'd just be a big laugh. And we have another pretty big cavern over here. So maybe some of my cavern concerns that I previously expressed are a little assayed. Actually, that is, if I'm not mistaken, an avian tomb. Let's desecrate it. As we have one of my dogs suddenly very excitedly wagging her tail because she's like, oh, avian tomb, I love it. Let's put, can we put a torch down there? No, we can't. Oh, we'll do this the old fashioned way. If we can break into these blocks. Yep. Nothing possibly bad can happen here. It's probably just going to be pixels. Yep, pixels. Gold, pile of books, bone. Once again, not really a high reward for, uh, yeah, and you can actually scan for some materials over here. There's actually a pretty sizable titanium vein over here, so let's go ahead and get that. Okay, so we got, we actually took the lavish avian tomb, which wasn't that lavish because it didn't have a lot in it. But once again, it just comes back to the thing that I was saying before. I would love it if some of the uh, like little treasure chests that you found underneath were a little bit more rewarding. So bone useful for a quest later. I did take it because I took the whole tomb. So so we got our titanium on and it's good. And we'll see kind of what else is available here before too long. I don't even know how much titanium I have just yet, but that was a pretty good area of it. Titanium 18. And I think it's two titanium per bar. I don't remember for certain. So we'll uh, definitely try and go over the top. 
because I gotta get a whole armor set to unlock the next thing, but... I'll have to see what kind of weapons I can get as well, because most of the good weapons that I've gotten were from actual, like, surface encounters. So right now I may have to wet noodle DPS my opponents while, uh... So once again, we're gonna scan for materials. I think that's silver. I always think it's silver. Let's be pessimistic, folks. And might as well eat some steak. This is a, once again, I look forward for them to introduce hunger and coldness again. Because I think those were interesting mechanics. For some people, it's like, oh, it makes things kind of grindy. Not very interesting. But, I mean, it's nice if it's an option that you can flag on and off, you know. And I'm about to totally fall into a bottomless pit, aren't I? No, not totally bottomless. And you're, wow, you're wanting to really kill me here. Okay, well... Is that healing water? No, it's not glowing, so it's just regular water. And it's doing some Pokemon-style attack that I don't know, because I don't know my Pokemon. Nope. What do you mean my uh, fiery bullets are not really affecting you? All right, well. And what do we got? A little more titanium. And raw ribs as well. Ribs! And, okay, we got actually more interesting avian stuff here. I'm not sure, because I'm not sure what kind of material that is, I'm going to dig over there first. But it looks like we got another little area to explore. Said so titanium is good. It's all it's always silver. I still, I'm still having trouble with that. All right, but it looks like this is an ocean planet where maybe the avians with Cluex or whoever actually uh, brought some stuff in. And we actually have a treasure chest. So robotic crafting table, 20 bars to craft a full set of titanium armor. So I need 40 titanium. And what do we got here? We got avian history notes and some more books. Well, that's fun, I guess. As once again, we're getting down to what resources are these? Whatever it is, there's a lot of it out here. So we'll get all of it. So... The robotic crafting table, is that just what I need to craft kind of the next tier of gear as well? I imagine that's what it is. So we do have some temple blocks. And if this is all silver, I will be a little sad. But not surprised. In before silver, you didn't need to be. <laughs> Jerks. Okay, there's there's some titanium here. It's not all silver. It's mostly silver. It's just all interspersed. So we'll see how many bars I have here before too long. That's all silver. That's some titanium. That's my torch going away. Okay, so there's a lot here. And that's part of the fun. I mean, some people are like, oh my god, digging sucks. It's like, it's a game about digging. Terraria, Minecraft, all the other iterative games, same way. Which, by the way, really kind of freaked me out a little bit when I was in Target recently. And actually, I mean, it was blew my mind enough to see a bunch of Minecraft toys in there. Because, I mean, I know how Minecraft is with the kids nowadays. But actually seeing uh, Terraria toys in there as well. So on the one hand, it's like, is that actually going to hold and keep going? But on the other hand, it's like, oh, well, hey... You can market it if you want to buy an Eye of Cthulhu plushie to throw at your friend. Go to Target. All right, so that's platinum. So that's right, titanium, platinum, silver. Let's have a bunch of resources that just look the same underground. And, of course, I'm hiding in sand because that's what we do. How much do I have? I have almost enough titanium ore. We'll get 50. That seems like a good safe amount. The sand's all gonna follow me anyway. Actually, sand's pretty nice for wanting to dig through everything real quick, but since there's not too much here, we'll just dig down. All right. And down we go, down, down, down. Don't think I'm gonna hit the core of the planet anytime soon. We're obviously getting some copper, which is awesome. Not a lot over here as well. Once again, it's nice that you can still scan a little bit. You used to be able to scan all the way across the whole area, but 
it's not really allowed anymore. Is that? It looks like titanium to me. That all looks like titanium. We'll pretend it is, and then be disappointed. All right. And can I actually shoot you through this hole? Since it looks like you're trying to give me a hug with your smiley, smiley face. All right, so once again, we are under the ocean here. And this is, I'll be honest with you, being able to find a bunch of little tombs and stuff like this, a little more interesting than before. But the treasure chests, we'll see if they're anything worth writing home about. So more treasure chest here, and that looks like a metric ton of titanium. We'll see if our little ice stalk friend over here, no, those guys are aggressive. And we have a new weapon. It's a one-handed sword, which I don't really like. Okay, so we want to fight you one at a time. There we go. So, how much of you are silver? It's all silver. That's not silver. That's titanium. So we bend the rules of physics. One, two, three. All right. So we don't want something stupid underground to kill us and drop all of our hard-earned stuff. We don't want this to really do harm, so we got to wait for the recharge and fire. There we go. Let's eat another steak. Titanium is a little darker and has a few dark spots, and silver is clear and has no dark spots. I appreciate the uh, the help with that. The problem is that I'm still a moron. I'll be like, dude, it might be titanium. That'd be so great because that's what I want. All right, so we're going to get these treasure boxes, and I think we have enough titanium. Oh, we need one more for me to hit my uh, goal, having all the titanium. So we'll see what's in these little treasure boxes here, which unfortunately this is made for someone that was shorter than me, so we'll have to actually do oh. I got an old chest. What's inside the old chest? I don't know. Old chest. Switch you back out. There's really nothing in that. Oh, it's a primitive chest. That's not an old chest. Ugh. All right. Usually when you pick up a chest like this, it will actually tell you everything that's inside it. But it looks like, unless it appeared up here, that I just trolled myself. All right, so let's not dig these things up again too badly. Said so I'd like a little bit of treasure. At least there's more interesting things to find down here. Maybe the early planets are just going to be there. No, just old books. Apparently, people were not burying a bunch of treasure deep in this planet. They were just burying people or birds. And before long, we might actually get to the core. Because this is not the biggest moon ever. Okay, just some coal. I'm actually running a little low on torches, so this is probably going to have to be it for where I explore right now. Except that I can totally craft some more torches here. So, Oh, I can't craft that many. So six torches. Twelve torches. All right. Let's, let's walk in the spikes like a moron. That is a good way to start the day. And look, ocean underwater. And these boxes used to just be like, are you going to troll me and kill me all the time? No, I have bouncy jump. I hate bouncy jump. So it's almost like I'm getting trolled. But at least I guess I don't take fall damage. So that's a benefit. So yeah, we're getting a little deeper. Just want one more titanium and I'll be okay. But now that we're in kind of the darker stone stuff, it may not be that good. And we actually found, hmm, now that's interesting. This is usually the kind of place where something pops out to kill me. But it looks like we just have a little shrine instead, and in it we have the clipped council notes. So how about we make a very chamber deep on the ground, some chest filled with books in it. Well, I mean, that's actually what we, I guess what you're supposed to do. Let's see, 185, this is 143. This sword's actually stronger. The reason I don't like these swords very much is that not the best attack arc ever. So let's inspect that. Does that look like something I want to take? A fancy gong. It's covered in carvings. Oh, good. You can actually ring it. Almost worth taking home. 
but not quite. All right, so this is a uh, copper and stone. So let's see if we can actually dig through this material at a reasonable pace. Because those are other planets that I can kind of explore and go down to just to see what's there. But we're obviously beyond the uh, sandy portion of the game. And if I mine to the left or right, I'm probably going to find titanium a little faster. But I just want to see how deep, deep, deep we get to go. Oh. Well, you're not aggressive. And that looks like some platinum over there. So one thing of platinum. And I guess I can dig into that gravel instead. All right. So one platinum is what we got. So how far down am I going to go in this gravel? Not not far enough to be worth what I just did. All right. But hey, if I ever need gravel, now I have it, right? Once again, I have my little friend there. Too bad I don't have a monster capture ball to take him because he's kind of like a happy little alligator looking thing with a fire on its back. And I can actually make some more bandages. I did get some plant fibers from the surface, so that's good. So I'm not going to make a base here on this one tiny desert island on the... Uh, this is an ocean planet, I promise. There is an ocean, and we're digging deep, deep, deep underneath it. So anything... Quick sweep. I think I'll just dig down. And if we need to go to another planet, like I said, I just want one more, one more set of titanium, just one more place. And that's where it all, it's, it's kind of like that with so many games, like just one more thing is all I'm really asking for here. And this is a lot of gravel, so we'll just, this is faster than the other thing. And there we go. That's what I, that's what I'm talking about. It's like you win the prize, the prize for fastest digging person in a digging game. And here are here are some more interesting caverns. But once again, we're getting gold, which is good. That's gold, right? There's titanium. All right. And it's, I hear something that's trying to kill me. I see something that's trying to kill me, and that's a lot of titanium. So yay, patience paid off. Dig up all this and then we'll craft some armor and it'll be all good. So yeah, I apologize again for like doing the first hour of the stream not knowing how to pronounce the mining facility that I was at the Arikis, but that that VOD should be available on Twitch. It'll be up on my YouTube channel later, which my YouTube name is Way to Fail as well. If you're watching this, you're probably familiar with me already. I don't have like super, super uber following or anything. It's just kind of, I, I like to do this from time to time. I don't have, I don't know a lot of people that play games the way that I do. Most of my friends that do play games are very much the, uh, well, first off, I've already talked to you about how I do with first-person shooters. So it's like, hey, come over and play Halo. It's like, do you got a trash can next to you? That'd be great. Um, but it's like, I build a uh, moderately powerful computer system. And I used to play World of Warcraft, so it was good for that. But it's like, what games do I play most on my computer? Things like Starbound. Things like FTL Faster Than Light. Now, I can run other games that look really, really pretty, but eh, there we are. So I do enjoy doing this, at least kind of have a shared experience. or something like that, uh, The oh wow, actually another tomb down here. Something like the Arikas uh, boss there, it'd be, it feels really good to go through and just be like, wow, that was a tough fight, especially overcoming some bugs, and I beat it. But it's a lot more fun to share it with you guys. So I appreciate you all sticking around, but I am probably going to have to call this a stream here in just a little bit. Yeah, Lunar Base because the name is a mouthful to say. And whoop, we got, okay, a little more treasure. And we'll keep the bones. And yeah. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and get this titanium. And Lunar Base is a lot easier to say. So that's probably what I'll call it when I put it on a 
the YouTubes as well because that's what people tend to search for. But yeah, it's exciting to play Starbound again. I mean, I really like some of the other games that are similar to it that I've mentioned, but I'm a sucker for a space theme that's well executed. And this game, it does feel like it is. There's there's always room for improvement for any of these games with in terms of like diversity or what you have to do. And I like the progression for this system a lot better than the old progression of just kill this boss, go to a next sector. Kill this boss, go to a next sector. So we definitely have gone over the top now. We have 123 titanium. So let's cheese it out. And we're going to have another FTL fail, maybe. All right. So let's make us some titanium before I drop it. And I don't need the raw titanium ore for anything, or I shouldn't. So if I go to this metal crafting table, I can make a diamond pickaxe, which is cute. And oh, wow, I can actually make a gun as well. And that gun is pretty good. Lone Star, Calamity Jane. Those are actually a lot stronger than what I have. Yeah, it looks like I have enough to do all that. I'm just not sure. I, I kind of prefer the shotguns to the uh, little pea shooters. I'll take the big damage over the little ones. So We're going to make a crafting table too, but let's go ahead and make the armor set. One, two, and three. And let's equip it before I accidentally destroy it here. So I said let's equip it before I accidentally destroy it, and I think I may have... Uh, Derped a little bit. No, it's just second there. So rogue's hat, rogue's chest. All right, so one, two, and it should have a green outline, so it shouldn't be that hard to find rogue pants. Yay, suddenly I'm a lot stronger. So let's make the titanium crafting table. That's probably not. Nope, fierce repeater, which is also pretty cute, but I don't need that as well. Probably at the workbench. So titanium light, titanium table. We don't want titanium table. We don't want titanium console. We want titanium crafting table. And that's a pretty cool hat and outfit there. Or no, let's see here. It was a workbench, wasn't it? I feel dumb. I feel like I should be able to remember what I'm actually trying to build here. Metal work, metal station. Ugh. Well, we'll go ahead and make the, because uh, I have enough here anyway. We'll make the shot. We'll make the shotgun, because that's just a big DPS upgrade over the other shot. Although the uh, damage per shot's still pretty nice, and I'm only gonna have, I'm gonna have less shots here. But calamity Jane, go. Nice thing is that now I have the. Uh, I have a lot more energy, so it's still four shots. I'll just go and put some of the stuff up here. Try and protect some of my ores as well. Because if I die somewhere, I don't really want to actually have it fall into the wrong hands. And I need to really reorganize this stuff off camera. I've got a lot of stuff I can use. That's a lot of raw steak from dead people. Robotic crafting table. Thank you. And where do I actually make the robotic crafting table, I guess, is the uh, issue here. Robotic crafting table. What do I need? Oh, I need a processor. Hmm. Okay, well, I have a feeling that that processor is going to come either from a quest or it's going to come from a person. And I'll probably have to remove it from that person's clutching hands or something. So, yeah, probably a good enough time just to go back to the outpost and say, hey, what quest do I have? If you have titanium armor, I'll give you the coordinates to be worth your while. So let's go ahead and get that. Yeah, I figure it's probably Dreadwing just for the processor. I hope the fight's as interesting as the last one is. I mean, I don't know if there's little dungeons for everything or if it's just back to actually summoning stuff. So see, this is good. I need Twitch chat just to help me get through my stuff. But we'll hop on down here. Get to the outpost. Once again, I do like the uh, 
Don't know if you want to call it Geordie LaForge or just Cyclops style. I'm a bandit with a gun and it's actually a pretty cool looking outfit. Have to say. So I wonder if the outposts are going to be just as interesting as before. Probably about the same here. We still has the same little tentacles and everything. I don't know if it's the same configuration for faces and everything, but yeah, if you ever play as the humans in this game, their Earth got destroyed by a giant tentacle monster. So that's how that goes. So we're at the outpost. Let's buy less fuel. We don't need to get the Infinity Express anymore. Let's not have a gun in here, I guess. As there's more people talking always with the lag in here, but that's how it goes. All right, so hello, penguin friend. Looks like you're set. Here are the coordinates. Let me know if you take him down. So mission objective details in your ship's computer. So I should go and check out these coordinates. If I can take down Jedwing and return proof, perhaps the outpost ping will give me something in return. Well, you know what? Let's change the title of this real quick. Dreadwing attempt question mark the tentacle hentai <laughs> gave birth to a giant tentacle that engulfed the earth planet totally official lore of the game you are 100% correct it is the uh, the evil dead pretty much on a global scale all right so we're gonna go just attempt this once just for shits and giggles because it is uh, we're on stream and why not and I've was planning on uh, trying to stream. I'm a little bit over the time that I had allotted, allotted myself for it, but it's fun. Oh, I don't want to go back to that. I just want to go back to the ship. So we're going to ask our ship here and see. I'm just curious if this is just going to be a boss fight or if this is going to be something a little more. So we can upgrade 10 bars of gold and 10 bars of titanium, so I can totally do that. But let's go Dreadwing. Penguin Outpost wants the, on the Outpost wants me to take down the mighty pirate Dreadwing. Yo ho ho and a bottle of I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, we're in the snow. We have a sign. The sign says signs actually don't say anything about the places that they're pointing to. Well that's cute. I'm gonna assume that you're gonna try and kill me. Yes. And that's why I have a bigger gun than you. Although you have a very tiny profile. Alright, so wow. This is like me trying to shoot shit in a any kind of game that ha requires skill shots. So like, I have a tiny ass sword. Oh, well there we go. Hello you. Hey, I remember this boss. The difference now is that I can't make a gigantic battle arena that keeps me safe the whole time. So instead we're just gonna have lots of bullet hell. I much, I much prefer this. To the old solution of just uh, trying is more straightforward, just just straight into the boss and fight. Yeah, I'm seeing that now. Okay, so yeah, how you used to fight the uh, the penguin pirate boss before was literally you tried to dig into something and make it work, but obviously you can't do that here. So that's pretty cool, and I'm dead, and that's okay. So yeah, that is the Dreadwing. I'll have to look a little more into it, but I think I know what I can do because it's one of those things where he just swoops down and smacks you in the face. Like I said, the way I used to fight that boss is just to build a giant platform and kite him all the way across, but it looks like they've improved that boss fight tremendously. So that's exciting, but I think that is probably a time to call this here now. So I appreciate you all joining me. I will be streaming this and other games more in the future, and I will be posting these VODs on YouTube as well. So. Once again, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much for the help. Very excited to get through the uh, Arikas uh, mining facility boss, despite bugs. And we have a cool shiny gun and still a lantern in the show for it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around and everything. I will just put up the, uh, whoop, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, that's, what are my buttons? There we go. That's the uh, Twitter, YouTube information as well. So. Once again, I really appreciate you all sticking around and hope to see you all again in the near future. It's been fun. All right, take care and see you next time.